Charts help you monitor progress, spot trends, and make decisions about information in your Notion databases. Like any other database view, you can add a chart to your existing database by clicking the plus sign and selecting the view type, in this case, chart. Alternatively, if you wanted to add a chart to a page on its own, like in the case of making a team or project dashboard, navigate to a new block and then hit the forward slash key and type chart. Here you'll see the options to add vertical bar, horizontal bar, line, or donut charts. Select a chart format, then hit enter. Once you do so, you'll be prompted to either select an already existing data source in your workspace or create a brand new database from scratch by clicking on New Chart. Charts work best to visualize existing data in your Notion workspace, so we'll choose the former option. Voila! Your brand new chart is ready to be customized. To view your database on its own, navigate to this double-sided arrow and click to open as a full page. Database entries and charts are grouped according to one or two properties in your database. Clicking the three-dot icon near the top right of your database brings you to a menu where you can fully customize the appearance and functionality of your chart. Here you'll be able to change your chart type, edit what's shown, change the style, and more. Let's break down each of these options together. Your chart can be displayed as one of four layouts so that you can view your information exactly how you see fit. Donut charts are most useful for viewing the distribution of a single property in your database. For example, the owner of various tasks across your engineering organization. You may also choose to make donut charts with status, select, or multi-select properties for best results. Line charts are best for viewing database items over time, like the number of tasks due on any given day. For line charts, you'll see an additional group by option that lets you add additional lines. So you might view the tasks due each day per team, for example. Finally, horizontal bar and vertical bar charts allow you to view entries in your database across multiple properties. Here, categorical properties like tags and statuses make more sense than time-based ones. And just like line charts, they boast a group by option that helps you to understand your data at a deeper level. Let's take a deeper look at the data section to better understand how these charts are formed. As previewed, you can choose what data to show in your chart in this section of the Layouts menu. The What to Show option is where you'll be able to choose properties to display along the X and Y axes of your chart. Additional options help you fine-tune how those properties look. Let's take the example of this engineering tasks database where we may want to create a bar chart of task status by assignee. In this case, we'll choose to show status on the x-axis like so, and keep the default task count on the y-axis. In general, the x-axis should show categorical properties like select, multi-select, or people properties. Next, we want the to do, in progress, and complete options to appear in logical order, so we'll use the sort by option to manually move these status properties around. Finally, the Hide Zero Values option will hide any status options that don't have tasks assigned. On the y-axis, it's best to use a numerical property. In this case, we'll stick with Task Count. You may also choose to display a number property or numerical output of a formula on the y-axis. The Group By option adds additional dimension into your chart. In this case, to add teams into the picture, select Group By and then find the Assignee property. Looking good! Finally, the style section lets you customize how your chart appears. You can choose a color palette from this list of options like so, and use the More Style Options menu to fine tune. You might want to change the height of your chart. Add grid lines, horizontal, vertical, or both. And add axis names for additional clarity. Even add or remove legends and data labels. We hope that you find lots of value using charts in Notion, but if you ever need to share your chart with the world outside of your workspace, use the Save Chart As option to export your chart as a SVG or PNG file. You can change the background for a more polished look, and then export or copy your image. And last but not least, click here to lock your database, and hence prevent team members from making accidental changes.
You can also copy the link to this particular view and duplicate the view like so. Back on our engineering dashboard, we'll see our newly formed chart here and could easily drag and drop it into place to help inform understanding of our engineering team's work. In addition to creating charts with information from Notion databases, you may also consider creating views of synced databases, like from Jira or Asana, to connect your team's work across tools. That's all for now. With these powerful customization options, you can present your data in the most insightful and visually appealing ways possible, right alongside the rest of your work.